Prior to discussing the announcement, it's important to understand what particle accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile-long superconducting magnet ring and the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It represents the pinnacle of human scientific achievement. In fact, it's powerful enough to recreate the conditions of the universe's birth. But could this machine, designed to unlock the secrets of the universe, hold the key to something far more ominous? CERN, founded in 1954, is one of the world's most prestigious research organizations with 23 member nations and thousands of scientists. It serves as a hub for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it's just a component of an extensive network of experiments and accelerators. Envision a racetrack, not for horses or cars, but for subatomic particles, competing with time and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. These collisions create temperatures a million times hotter than the core of the sun. Thousands of magnets direct the protons on their journey, while intricate cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures below those of outer space. Beams inside the LHC are made to collide at four locations around the accelerator ring corresponding to the positions of four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a unique purpose, exploring different aspects of particle physics. Together, they act as colossal cameras, capturing snapshots of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris, looking for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other phenomena that offer clues to the universe's fundamental building blocks. By studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. But with every answer comes a new question, and with every discovery, a new challenge. The LHC is not simply a scientific instrument. It's a testament to human curiosity and innovation. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. Yet, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of probing the unknown? Could our quest for understanding inadvertently unlock forces we cannot control? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the boundaries of human understanding are constantly pushed, a revelation has emerged that sends a shiver down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and a voice of authority in the world of particle physics, has recently made an announcement that has left the world both fascinated and fearful. Cox's words resonate with haunting clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a mini Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right. A miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist also explained the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for new discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to conjure the very essence of the universe. It's a tantalizing prospect, but one fraught with danger. The mini Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept. It's an observable reality at the LHC. The temperatures, pressures, and raw energy mimic the conditions of the universe's infancy. It's like standing at the dawn of time, witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms, what will happen if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go terribly wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a disaster that would forever alter the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics, in Russia, a malfunction led to his head accidentally entering the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with a force that defies comprehension, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. 
Bogorsky's experience was otherworldly. He saw a flash, brighter than a thousand suns, but felt no pain. The A beam's path left a trail of destruction burning through tissue and bone, yet he remained conscious, even attempting to walk to the clinic for treatment. The aftermath was both horrifying and fascinating. The beam's path caused localized tissue death, resulting in Bugorsky losing hearing in one ear and experiencing partial facial paralysis. Yet, astonishingly, his intellectual capabilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not just a personal tragedy, but a cautionary tale that underscores the immense power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of a particle accelerator like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The potential for unforeseen reactions and the manipulation of the very fabric of space and time are not the stuff of science fiction, but actual concerns expressed by some in the scientific community. One of the most alarming and captivating concerns associated with the LHC's experiments is the potential to create a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, and enigmatic entities that lurk in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such an entity, even on a microscopic scale, is shocking to both the general public and experts alike. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, swallowing the Earth from within? Though scientists at CERN have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and evaporate almost immediately, the mere possibility has ignited debates, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. It's important to comprehend how the LHC might produce a black hole. It has to do with the fundamentals of particle mechanics. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it warps the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight. When a heavy weight is dropped onto it, the fabric bends and curves. If the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. That's a simplistic illustration of what might happen in the quantum world of the LHC, where the rules of the universe are both bizarre and beautiful. There exists a theory that extra dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If the LHC's collisions tap into these dimensions, they could create a gravitational funnel that forms a microscopic black hole. This enigmatic dance of particles has even caught the attention of some world-famous scientists, particularly the late Stephen Hawking. In his book, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at very high energy. This instability could result in a catastrophic vacuum decay, a cosmic event that would not only destroy the Earth, but the entire universe itself. The esteemed British cosmologist Sir Martin Rees also expressed concerns about the experiments conducted. At CERN, in his book, On the Future, Prospects for Humanity, he investigated the potential dangers associated with particle accelerator experiments, including those at CERN. His words were not merely cautionary, they were tinged with a sense of existential dread. He spoke of a worst-case scenario where an ill-fated experiment could create a condition called vacuum instability. This instability could, in theory, trigger a phase transition that would ripple through the very fabric of space-time, resulting in a cosmic catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. Reese's concerns were not confined to theoretical reflections. He assigned a probability to these catastrophic outcomes, albeit a low one. But even a minuscule chance, he argued, should give us pause. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. Scientists at CERN have calculated the probabilities, run simulations, and examined theories to argue for the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of responsible exploration, recognizing that there are widespread fears and concerns surrounding the LHC's activities. He emphasized that rigorous safety measures are in place, with extensive reviews and protocols ensuring that the LHC's operations are conducted with the utmost care.
Cox assured that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally encounters and the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were created, scientists say it would be so tiny and unstable that it would evaporate in a flash of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking, known as Hawking radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of cosmic awe, a glimpse into the abyss, and then gone. Some have gone further, speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. This notion, though largely dismissed by the scientific community has captured the imagination of many and has become a subject of fascination, fear, and even folklore. What lies beyond our reality? Could we inadvertently unleash forces or entities that we do not understand? The concept of opening a door to hell has been sensationalized in various media, adding fuel to the fire of public concern. I'm unsure how this idea came about or what it means in the context of scientific exploration. The concept of parallel dimensions is not new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, suggests that Imagine the LHC as a cosmic key, securing the unlocking of sealed doors since the dawn of time. When protons collide with unimaginable energies achieved on Earth, they could, in theory, create ripples in the fabric of space-time, potentially exposing hidden dimensions. While the scientific community is largely skeptical of such sensational claims, the very idea of particle accelerators unlocking the secrets of the universe has sparked more interest in the potential risks and consequences of such experiments. In the end, the LHC stands as a powerful symbol of human ambition and curiosity. It is a testament to the progress we have made in understanding the universe, but also a reminder of the risks associated with such knowledge. Perhaps the universe is vast, but the more we uncover about it, the more we become aware of how little we actually understand. The quest for knowledge is one of humanity's greatest achievements, but there are also many unknowns and perils. Only time will tell if we are ready for what we might uncover next. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, is a marvel of modern science and technology, but it also opens the door to inquiries that re-examine the very foundation of our understanding of the universe. The machine itself is an engineering masterpiece, spanning an enormous underground ring and featuring the most advanced and precise equipment ever built. It brings together a global network of scientists and researchers who are united by one goal, to answer some of the most profound questions about the cosmos. However, as scientists test the limits of human understanding, they face significant obstacles, both theoretical and ethical. One of the key areas of study at the LHC is the quest for understanding the forces that control the universe. For hundreds of years, scientists have sought to unlock the mysteries of gravity, strong and weak electromagnetism, and nuclear forces. The LHC provides an unprecedented opportunity to study these forces in extreme environments. The collision of particles at such high energies mimics conditions that existed just moments after the Big Bang, when the universe was a steaming, dense soup of particles. This allows researchers to probe the behavior of matter and energy in ways that were previously thought impossible. Yet, with the potential to make groundbreaking discoveries, the LHC also raises significant concerns regarding the limits of scientific experimentation. The possibility of discovering new particles, such as supersymmetric particles or dark matter, could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. But these discoveries could also have unintended consequences. There is a growing awareness among some physicists that the experiments conducted at the LHC may be unlocking more than just the secrets of the universe. They may be revealing new dangers or forces that humanity is not yet prepared to deal with. One of the most intriguing and unsettling ideas in this regard is the concept of a vacuum decay. This theory suggests that, under certain conditions, the energy generated by particle collisions at the LHC could cause a catastrophic shift in the fabric of space-time, triggering a chain reaction that could alter the very nature of reality itself. 
While the likelihood of this occurring is extremely low, the potential consequences are so severe that it poses a danger, according to some, that should be considered carefully. A vacuum decay event, if it were to happen, could cause the collapse of the universe as we know it, potentially leading to the destruction of all matter and energy within our cosmos. Despite the speculative nature of these concerns, the LHC continues to be a focal point for scientific inquiry. The excitement surrounding the possibility of new discoveries often outweighs the cautionary voices. Every day, thousands of scientists work tirelessly at CERN, driven by a deep desire to uncover the fundamentals governing existence. Yet as the LHC operates at the cutting edge of science, the ethical implications of such powerful experiments remain a topic of ongoing debate. Another area of concern is the potential for creating phenomena that we do not understand. The LHC has already demonstrated the ability to create exotic particles, such as the Higgs boson, that had previously only been speculated. However, this ability to create new forms of matter also raises the question of whether we are able to produce particles or entities that could pose unforeseen risks.